Pamusha. I didn't want to call, but there's one. I'll go. She's inside. I thought you wanted to speak to her first. I know this place is terrible, but it's all I could find on short notice. You two knowledge. Doctor and a temptation dig. Are you sure you don't want me to stay? No. Actually, you have done more than enough. Thanks. Okay. Uh knowledge. Yes, sir. Can you get us some food? A beggar, please. Okay, I'll be back just now. Okay. It was supposed to be a surprise visit, but these overzealous cops have ruined Temptation. It. Okay, fine. I don't know, they just arrested me as soon as I landed. Like, literally, I hadn't been five minutes off the plane when bang, I'm in handcuffs. What nonsense is this? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Waitie. Nothing, auntie. You know what? When you come to think of it, this whole situation is really actually kind of funny and very typical of these overzealous cops, so, you know. Are you okay? I wanna grow up. Oh yeah, no, I'm fine. Oh, um, there is a customs officer though. He might need some medical attention. Why? Want me to? Oh, give me to ask what he did. Do not go zero temptation. Mscans go for him and I'm Now tell me. Chicha white a customs officer. I kinda hit him with a chair. Okay, but he was being way too liberal with his body search, okay? So I picked up a chair and I hit him in the head. Oh, relax, Auntie, he's fine. I heard him groaning as they led me out the room. He's not dead. Twenty-nine years old. And you're still acting like a child. I'm disappointed in you. Dagafungo to kwenda kwa America kucha kuita mature. But eh, you haven't changed. In fact, you should talk with Wes. Okay. Okay, but can you please call me after I get home and take a nap, okay? I have been on a plane for 16 hours, okay? I am literally about to die of cold and fatigue and hunger. And that is if the stench from this god-awful place to which you have brought me does not kill me first. Why did you give this to the police? Oh, hey, I, thanks for getting this back for me. I forgot I gave it to them. Pindram Vunzong temptation. I said, why did you give this to the police? Okay, well, I told them, let me go because I'm your niece. But they wouldn't believe me, so I gave them this picture that we took at my farewell party as proof. But the cop just smiled and took it with him. Picture here is Zara by internet person. And that's really bad for me. Oh, I know, right? I would die if I was caught in the internet wearing what you're wearing in this photo. Like, but it was the closest thing I had, you know? I always keep it on my wallet. It's one of my few prized possessions. Okay, no. Seriously, Auntie, you have got to stick to two-piece outfits, okay? Because casual clothing is so not your thing. Temptation! I just made a joke, Spanner. This picture could ruin my career. And picture yet I could have shown me pakati pangu, newe. And now that ni kaya si ya zio kutuvuma na wangu. I need to be very careful how I handle your situation because when waka taris, ni atundo uzasho itika temptation. The charges against you are very high. I need to hear your side of the story. Auntie, please stop looking at me like that, okay? You're scaring me. Okay, look, 
I'm tired, I'm cold, I'm hungry. I'm not thinking straight. Can we please, please just go home? Knowledge is bringing some food. Who is this knowledge guy? Anyway, okay, he was acting all important and secretive when they brought me here. Like, hey, if we take you to the police station, you're gonna die. What, what, what? My assistant. And thank God, otherwise, I'm going to tell a different story right now. I forgot your phone in the car, man. Ah, okay, thanks. I'm so long, I'm going to eat in this Let's go home. Temptation. Was somebody my police? And you can't just go on without due process. Oh, this is your idea of due process? Temptation. I don't think you understand. We brought you here so your aunt could hear your side of the story before you are officially charged by the police. Look, Auntie. You are the Minister of National Security. All you want to do is cough, and these people will jump. It is precisely because I'm the Minister of National Security that I can't just let you go. Especially since you made sure that the whole world knows that Urumanawangu. Nekura is a Mapurisa picture. Van Wakataris. They want to see if I'm going to compromise national security by helping you out of this mess. Since when was trying to bribe a customs officer an issue of national security? Oh. So you tried to bribe the customs officer? No. No. He asked me for a bribe, okay? When the plane landed, he demanded that I pay him something so that he wouldn't search my bags. Obviously, I refused. That is when he started touching me, claiming he was doing a body search. And it was degrading, auntie, okay? So I picked up a chair and I hit him in the head. Then some cops just came in and just whisked me away without even hearing my side of the story, okay? I swear to God, that is what happened. Yeah, at you offered him a bribe to us, I said, I'm a beggar. Yeah, Haram. When he tried to call the police, Kutubaku soon gave corruption. That's when you picked up a chair and hit him on the head. <laughs> <clears throat> President, what phone is Reggie? He said he was trying to phone you, but your phone wasn't being answered. Three missed calls. And my phone is on silent. I never put my phone on silent. Not picking my calls. What is she? But what was your temptation as soon as we airport? And she's been taken out of custody. And he demanded that you come to his office right now. Sadan All right. Thanks. President wants to see me because of you. Why is he so interested in such a petty crime? Doesn't he have other presidential stuff to do? You think it's a petty crime? Three years ago, Sustainable Show knew a government official accepted bribes from a company that wanted to build an apartment complex. Mashondo Matatuan Wau 
building yaka don. Paka fava nu fifty, kusanga ni sira fifteen wanawadik. I fought hard for him to get a death sentence. He was executed yesterday. Yeah, I saw that. You're a bit extreme, Auntie. But what does that have to do with me? I haven't killed anyone. Terror and temptation. I've been fighting tirelessly for years, trying to convince the president that corruption, no matter how insignificant it seems, endangers the lives of citizens. Imagine blackout kuparenya to a hospital. Vanawa tatu wari mu incubator vanofa. Blackout ya konzerwa ne kushai kwa kwa gates kuzesa. Kushai kwa kwa gates kwa konzerwa na someone kuzesa. I accept a bribe. Aka install a transformer akafa. Kunyange muniyas na kona vana vachifa. He is fully responsible for their deaths. One act of corruption per airport. You know, Konzera could be in a quite dangerous ammunition and dangerous drugs. <sighs> I wasn't trying to bring in drugs. You, they found three large bottles of propoxone in your bag. Why bring propoxone with you? Okay, you know I get those terrible migraines, okay? So the doctor wrote me a prescription. Surely that's not illegal, okay? The prescription was even there with the boxes. Prescription, you can go here, one sachet, 20 tablets. Even when you had three large bottles, 1,800 tablets. What? No, no, no. I only had 40 tablets, okay? My doctor wrote me a prescription for 20, but I'm here for six months, and you know how hard it is to find medicine here sometimes. So I call this guy Deshaun, who knows a pharmacist in Washington, and he hooked me up with another 20 to make them 40 altogether. I did not have 1,800 tablets. Temptation. Nasmaskat. Nanganda kamira pa side pa president. Ndaka watani sabachi saina mtemo uno declare. All forms of corruption is treason. Auntie. Auntie. You have to believe me. I only had 40 tablets. Okay, ba... Ba kunye bera I... So where did the other 1,760 tablets in your bag come from? I don't know where That's exactly what you said. Oh. Uh, high school. Boarding master, I'm going to go back to the house. I'm going to go back That was a long time ago, and I'm a different person now. Temptation. I want to believe you. But they've got video evidence against you. According to the new law, that's enough to charge you with treason. A crime punishable by death. Um, Hunty, you're going to see the president, right? Can, can, can't, can't you talk to him? Or maybe, maybe, maybe I, I could come with you and I can just tell him what really happened. Okay, just, just, just tell me what to say and I will say it, okay? I will say it, all right? You can make this all go away. Even if the evidence is against me, you, you can make it all go away. You were a power and vessel. Only at was Zivok in the Kashanda Shakomarasi, trying to get rid of corruption in this country. Sometimes at the risk of my own life. And watching the president sign this law today was the best thing that has ever happened in my career as Minister of National Security. So you're just going to sacrifice me at the altar of your career? My career is just a means to an end. And the end is? Justice, temptation. <laughs> Justice for everyone who has suffered in the hands of corruption. What about mercy, auntie? What about the many, many people who will die because of your new law? There is one dead government official waiting to be buried tomorrow. Because during his trial, I told the judge that only Jesus Christ can exercise mercy without compromising justice. Mercy comes at a cost of justice. Fine. 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 Sacrifice me then at the altar of your career. Kill me in the name of your precious justice. I hope that makes you happy.
You think I want you dead. You are my life, Tempe. Your death means my death. You haven't called me Tempe since I was ten. Your mother used to call you that. I made a vow, Tempe, that I would love you more than my sister could have done if ever she had lived. You are my life. All what I've been doing, including the justice campaign, is for you, Tempe. I'm sorry, Gunnar. Okay, fine. Let me go and talk to him. I feel sorry for your aunt. From the minute she became Minister of National Security, she has had enemies. And, you know, being a woman made it worse. She's fighting enemies both from within and from without. She receives death threats every single day. But you are too obsessed with yourself to see what's really going on here. You are so predictable, Temptation. Predictable. You, you have done in five hours what her enemies failed to do in five years. And you have proved that deep down inside, everyone is corrupt. I am not corrupt. But there are two kinds of corrupt people in this world. People who are corrupt because they're greedy and people who are forced to be corrupt. When the person at the top is corrupt, the guy at the bottom has got no choice but to be corrupt in order to survive. Your aunt's vision is to stop corruption at its roots. But she's too obsessed with you. Sorry, Tempe. My police are all so tall. And there's nothing I can do about it. But I I I can't. Oh, 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 Chef! Auntie! Can I can I can I can I please sit down? Please. Stop. Remember knowledge. I know that I won't make it home today. Auntie, what are you talking about? For 19 years, Tempe. I've been praying. Then to watch you die. As I am not and they took matters into my hands. <laughs> what did you do? If ever there is anything that you have to remember about me, is that I loved you enough to die than to hand you over to be killed. Let me kiss you one last time. 
this knowledge, you can go and call the police to come and take it. Jolly Clothes Factory. Now! Oh, The minister's committed suicide. Oh. What do you mean? You know, my chef is going to go far. I don't want to see a bus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 